time to write some code against MongoDB and connect to MongoDB. And we're going to do that with an ODM, an object document mapper. If this term is new to you, think of object relational mapper like SQL Alchemy, but for document databases instead. So let's compare first this ODM style of programming against the most basic, lowest level way to program or interact with MongoDB from Python called PyMongo. So every programming language that you can talk to MongoDB from, there's many of them, 20, 30, I don't know, something like that. Many, many languages can talk to MongoDB and they each have what's called a driver. And this is typically provided by MongoDB, the company itself. So PyMongo is no different. It's this low level foundational way to talk to MongoDB. And you do this in the native query syntax of MongoDB, this JavaScript JSON style of interacting with the database. Now, it's important to know that if you're working with MongoDB in terms of running and managing it, but from writing code, we're going to focus on something higher level, an ODM, so we can take structured classes and map those to and from the database. So let's see how it would work if we just use PyMongo. So we've got our app here and we have the PyMongo package we're gonna work with, and we have MongoDB, the database. So we write direct queries in this raw MongoDB API. So you have to know the API really carefully. You have to map those back to your classes. Basically what you do is you pass dictionaries to PyMongo, it uses those as part of the query, and then you get the dictionaries back. It's pretty unstructured, but it's very low level and fast. With an ODM, similarly, we've got our app and we've got PyMongo and MongoDB, but we also have another layer, the layer that we directly interact with called the ODM, Object Document Mapper. And there's a bunch of different kinds. There's Mongo Engine, there's Ming, there's Mongo Kit, there's Mongo Alchemy, <laughs> Mini Mongo, and there's more than that, actually. There's a ton of them. Uh, just so happens we're going to use Mongo Engine, one of the more popular and well-polished ones, I think. So in this model, we don't query in terms of raw dictionaries against PyMongo. We just talk to the classes defined by the ODM. And our queries are based on those types, on those classes. That itself will translate to the MongoDB API, sometimes in real basic ways, sometimes really advanced ways. And it will actually leverage some of the advanced operators, the dollar operators, if you're familiar with them for MongoDB, like dollar set, dollar add to set, things like this. So really, really cool that it leverages the advanced operators, not just you know save this document, read this document type of programming. I think the ODM model is a much better way to write your application. You'll see there's not much structure in a schemaless database. So having a little bit of extra structure defined by these classes that are part of this ODM model really adds a lot of safety to your application, in my opinion.